David Jordan is the private advisor to CEOs, specialising in creating results through strategic innovation. Welcome to this week's segment. The challenging the status quo is a big challenge for any CEO. There are a number of areas that, that uh, we try to explain to CEOs. It's not just about challenging the status quo, but challenging it big. We often think about is that we're going to modify a widget on the factory line. We need to be thinking about, do we actually have the factory line? I mean, really need to step back and say, I'm starting from scratch, what would I do? And it's a real challenge. Take Microsoft. Microsoft has Microsoft Office. It's a flagship product. It, it brings in billions of dollars of revenue. Imagine the scenario that the CEO comes into the board and says, we're going to cannibalize our flagship product. We're going to have an internet-based office, which is not going to pull in the same revenue. But they had to do it because organizations like Google was bringing in internet-based office products. So they had to cannibalize their own, big, their own business. That is big, tough decision making that you have to do. Another problem that companies have is what we call the boiling frog syndrome, where it'd be nice to have a digital disruptor that suddenly pitches up in the horizon because it, everybody red flags it and suddenly the development teams, everybody's focused on solving that problem. Sadly, the situation is, is that the problem is in small bits. And we call it the boiling frog syndrome because basically if you drop a frog into boiling water, it jumps out, but if you leave the frog in the water and slowly heats it up, by the time it realizes it's in danger, it's too late. And that's what a lot of companies are happening to. A very good example of that is Kodak. Now, a lot of people don't realize is that Kodak invented the digital camera. It was a, an unusual product, but it was, it was the digital camera. And yet Kodak went out of business because of the digital camera. And, and the problem was, was that Kodak thought it had time to react to the digital camera industry. And they're too slow in changing, too slow in responding, and their competitors overtook them. So there's a number of areas about challenging the status quo that, that CEOs really need to step back and, and, and not just think about fiddling around the edges, but really wholesale significant change about what the business is so that you're reacting to what is going on with your competitors and how your customers are changing. To get your copy of David Jordan's book, The CEO Innovation Blueprint, go to his website, theceoblueprint.com.au.